Hello, this is Oko Belzer. Welcome to Belzer's from TJ Cart Kane. Uh, so this is my continuing multiplayer match with Dubin with the Total Realism Project mod for Strategic Command World War II War in Europe. Let's go! I am the Allies. Dubin is the the Axis powers. <clears throat> this is episode four. I think we're going to be going early October 1939. I don't have my notes with the calendar in front of me. I do have notes though of uh, some ideas that I need to keep pursuing <clears throat> looks like we got a sub on the loose off of Canada I'm sure he's gonna unass out there <laughs> we're gonna give chase I believe that well I the, the Germany starts with four subs they'll be getting more I know that there's two out here I don't know if he's got the other two in reserve or if they might have slipped out too and they're they're all on sleeper mode right now they're laying low now, they're going to be real dangerous when we lose France. He's going to have ports. He's also going to have ports, uh, well, possibly with, with Spain and Vigo down the Canary Islands. We'll have to keep an eye on that, those places. That's later. I'm sure that the Medi Mediterranean is going to get hot, but that's next year. Well, of course, it's going to get hot in the summer, but, you know, I digress. Now, the Italians, they're waiting in the wings. They're going to want to see just how good the Germans handle with the West. Anyway, there he goes. Oh, he goes down that way. Yeah, and you might be sneaky because I... and then head south. So we'll find you. They can move 20. I got 20 action points. Of course, I got a damage destroyer here, but I think we should give chase because that submarine was down, I believe, five hit points. <clears throat> yeah, he crashed right into the dock and then we had a fracas. <laughs> Well, we're going to kind of be drifting into the phony war here. <clears throat> we got to keep an eye out. Yeah, okay. Germany plunders 25, MP, uh, 25 MPP for Warsaw. We're going to see what kind of plunder they got for Poland. Let's see. The importance of the BF maintain French morale to staff and stiffen French morale in the event of a German invasion. We should maintain a force of no less than two units in France. Better still, five or more units. Yes, we already have. We will have that, or we do. If they can be made available, easy. De deploy these to defend Paris, northeastern France, or the Maginot Line. If we don't do this, then should the Germans invade France, French morale is likely to fall rapidly and would lead to a premature surrender. The French are relying on us to help them. Just like we did in 1914. Let's not let them down. No. Not until things look bad. <laughs> Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain, uh, your, your time is short as Prime Minister, I'm afraid. <clears throat> An Allied invasion in Norway would be instrumental in cutting off supply shipments to Germany, even if there are certain, are certain to be diplomatic consequences of such an invasion. If we proceed, we should begin to make preparations to garrison the coast, ward off German interference during our occupation of the country. To be successful in attack, it is paramount that we capture Oslo. If Oslo is captured, we will have garrisons ready to capture key ports along the Norwegian coastline. Should we have the coastal garrison on standby for attack on Norway, it will cost 25 MPP for two turns. We have a house we'll know taking down Oslo when they're, or, or Norway when it's neutral until after the fall, perhaps. There's a, there's a variety of reasons why. And we want to keep a little bit stuck. Let's look at the notes. Though, see what, uh, if you say yes in the British Amateur, we'll begin secret preparations to support the planned invasion of Norway. If our invasion is successful, Norway is captured, which will result in Nor Norwegian surrender. Strength 3 garrison units will appear walk by Narvik, Trinheim, Bergen, Stavanger, and Chris said, Oh, this is like what the Germans would do but no no we're not gonna do it I want to do it anyway we got our engineers first one we're gonna be getting there now this is this is interesting <clears throat> I am gonna want to dig here or here <clears throat> uh, but I think I'm gonna bring him up Bring, bring one up later. I think we're going to start here. Work our way down at least three. Uh, also around, let's, let's go closer here, Rysev. Uh, we like Duvita Besk, but it's too far forward. No, but uh, Rysev right here. 
I have lost rice up before uh, with uh, against unfortunate sun. I was able to get them out, but it was very difficult. <clears throat> I'm going to be getting another one in January, and I'm definitely going to start them probably, probably here. This will be, and we'll do a final one, maybe around Viasma in the woods. <clears throat> Let's see, that's supply 12. Yeah, something like that. So I think for sure, I would love, love to do it here, but let's go ahead and start, dig here. And we're just going to do a shorty. Yeah, that's up. I got Dalexia with this thing. Uh, that's a C hex. That's, yeah, it's port hex. I may do one here just to keep them at Vayner's Orion Bomb. There's no town here, but I did that before and it, it did really slow them up, even though they got in a Narva. Or I held Narva. I might be able to hold this line. There's swamps here. It's hard to take Narva if you do that. I uh, could have dug here, but I think that's too far advanced. All right, let's, since we're with the Soviets. You're ultimately going to be landing here, so it's going to be up here. I want to check something. I'm not going to do it, but how much is it going to cost? Operational cost is pretty low. Yeah, M20 MPP, no. Since we're dealing with the Soviets. How much money I got? 81. Let's go look and see our research. How are we doing? Yeah, as soon as I got enough money, I'm going to do infantry warfare. So I sold some chits. I did sell ground attack. I'll, I will get back into that. Uh, and, a, and heavy bombers. I only have one strap bomber. Yeah, it'll be useful in the future. But um, I need anti tank weapons. We're going along. Fighters, yeah, we got this right off the bat, so we got to keep up on that. But whoever comes first, we'll 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 talk about that. But we're definitely gonna get infantry warfare. Yeah. Gonna need it. Any final moves. Hmm. I might I'm going to move you to Orsha, that's what I was doing. Okay. I'm probably going to redo all this. Yeah, I already moved, that's fine. Any aircraft is two. I might do a couple trenches here <clears throat> in front of Smolensk. He's got to get through the swamps. So we, we might do that. Maybe three. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we're still moving. Yeah, mud. Huh. We're going down here, boys. No, not putting you on train. Sorry. All right, so we got that now. Let's go do the British. The British got 236. Let's go look at the research. I know I got a. I don't want to buy units, but let's see what we got going here. So we got 236. We want to get an infantry weapons. I want to get an industrial tech. We can get into this in the mat. That was a tops 3,000 MPP. We could do as much as we want. Two or three sets, huh? <clears throat> Let's get into the infantry war weapons. Yeah, I'm sure we might be behind the Germans there, but that it's uh, if we're going to be facing the Germans when they have different weapons too, it'll be in Africa. So we got 86 left. So we could consider other things. Well, let's go. Uh, we'll go to France. Let's go see about this uh, sub. He was here. Let's look at that again. Hmm. 
see my naval cruise, where would you be going? Where's Bermuda? Here's Bermuda. Let's get on out there, boys. We use Bermuda to get supplies here. <clears throat> Get into Halifax. All right, and then we'll start working our way back. <clears throat> okay, I have this task force. Uh, okay. French. No, it's British. You got supply 11. Alright. It's kind of fun. Now with the British. I got 86. <clears throat> Let's go look at the reports here real quick. Boy, he saved his, he saved his marks, his Reich marks. Uh, yeah, still crawling. Recovery of Polish cities that he bombed the snot out of. Wrecked under his tank tracks. <laughs> And we are at 99, so we went up a little bit. <clears throat> France, 90. Well, this has got 17. I was thinking, <clears throat> well, before we think, let's go ahead and fly and see if he's brought anything else up. HQ. So we don't have to worry about getting bombed by Stukas just yet. But anyway, I was thinking about bringing the strategic, strategic bomber down. It's 17. I don't want to get clipped by these things. So we have to be out a little ways. It's got a range of five. Thinking about doing something fun like bomb Salzburg, Munich. <laughs> well, let's see here. I'm gonna bring the strap bomber down just for fun. Oh yeah, we gotta show him the bomber command still still involved. Okay, France, 330. We're gonna we're gonna wanna buy. We're gonna buy that anti-tank. That's in January, so that's early, so that's good. And I could save the money. Now I'll, bring, I'll buy some cores. So let's get our guys and see. I've got I got 130 left. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. This would be nice to have. <clears throat> Might actually be able to get them out of country and then 20% uh, chance that they survive it. And having a special forces, that's 185. We don't need motorized cores because we're going to stand. So it's 150. So I could buy one core a turn. But I need to start building up my units. And I do have enough money to do what I got right now. Or how much of these? 200. It'd probably be too late to get it. Well, let's see here. Let's redo this. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, this motorized division is going to come in handy. I'm going to want it with the tank destroyer and everything. I need a mobile unit. <clears throat> Get you in the woods here. What's here? Woods. Okay. you up here. <clears throat> we'll start building up the tank here for now. Divisions here. Let's bring up the Algerians and Tunisians. I'm going to go ahead core here either. I just need a security unit. I got 38. Okay. Let's bring up this. I'm going to have to railroad these or bring them up. Let's see here. <clears throat> I want them in the rear. Well, up like in Leon and stuff. How much is it going to cost? It's 20 to to do these guys. Okay, let's pop you. And again, I'm going to be leaving the I'm going to be leaving uh, the French units down in uh, Equatorial Africa. I got to leave these. But I have a Madagascar unit, but now I don't got enough money. It's 20. I uh, do you believe that I forgot to move you. That's fine. So let's bring the carrier into. Yeah, let's bring it up. So let's get a cruiser up here. Light cruiser French. Yeah. Now we're going to have to come all the way back down. So we denuded ourselves here. Do you have a sub 86? Yeah, we want to get you here at a port. I'm going to get you, give you the full meal deal. Now I got 86 with the British. I could save that money. Again, let's go do this bit. I think I before this if I the subs show up this is kind of expensive but I think I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, my security units up so I'm going to bring one out of uh, Nigeria probably should get an escort down I'm going to leave these French units Gold Coast uh, let's bring you down that's for, uh, Sierra Leone uh, no one, nothing in Gambia. Okay, let's go ahead and sail. We'll hug the, hug the coast. Of a Portuguese Guinea, perfect. 
By the way, that's a big cocaine smuggling spot now from South America. A little trivia probably people don't care about. Why do I care? I, I'm interested in those things for a variety of reasons. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, it's it's now, it's not called Portuguese Guinea. It's got a Portuguese uh, uh, expats that live there and one of the official languages is Portuguese. Yeah, let's hug right off of Ifni. Spanish Ifni. Now, if the Spanish ever get in, they don't have any ports here, though. Uh, that's always a good thing. <laughs> Down here in Equatoria, Guinea. Uh, yeah, they do. This is also actually called Bata. I wonder why it says Burrito. Maybe it had a little name. They have a big island here, Fernando Po. It's just this, but it's actually a bigger island. There should be a port there, Malapo. Uh, and there should be a port there. I was going to, I think I brought that up, but I never put it on the forums. I was going to say, with this map, it's brilliant, but you need a bigger island, about two hex or one with a port. Uh, now it's an oil rich desperate country run by despots. But it's got, a, it got the island's the capital of Equatorial Guinea. And then they have a mainland here. <clears throat> All right, so those boys are coming up. I probably should bring. Do I have a cruiser? No, I like you here. I like you here. But we can do this. Yeah, I'm going to stay here just in case. Could bring the cruiser back in case he tries to get through. I'll do that. And we don't have a lot of extra naval assets but this, but I'm going to bring this up because we got a guard that approaches. Okay. Since we're at transporting our security units, done deal. Once they get here, they can only march one hex. They do got to, so I'm going to get these other ones in these ports here. I think uh, that's it. Which we should probably shift a little bit. Let's shift a little bit. Let's block this. Could very well be behind me. I should spend money on destroyer. <clears throat> That's fine. I need those units. see this shifting I have these here uh, you let's bring you around and then we'll uh, give you the rest of your fighters I think that's it uh, are we all set up no we aren't was, uh, okay. okay nice say it's at 75 MPP
Yeah, we're full naked here. Hmm. Could bring you out of Cyprus. That's another one. But then again, I'd hate to lose it to like Italians or something. <clears throat> We're going to need to upgrade you. Not necessary right yet. <clears throat> so let's see here. Next turn for the French. If I got money left, I'm going to. So we're going to sail the Madagascar unit. Yeah, we can get out there now. Uh, we got to keep this Damascus covered. So we may well bring the Madagascar unit here. I don't know. Probably be cheaper just to send it all the way, all the way to uh, France and then uh, get it up to strength five. So I spend twenty and doing a swap room from the. Damascus garrison. <clears throat> Senegal would be free would would be free French, but not Mauritania. I believe uh, no, is it? No, these two could be. If he creates Vigie, these would be Vigie states, French states. Yes, right. Senegal and Mauritania. Uh, I believe. I believe French Sudan. I'm not. I don't remember for sure. But definitely Morocco, Algeria, and Tunis. We don't want to move these off. So I have two more French. I'll have to write that down. Two more French security units. I'll bring up. They can hold some of the towns from parachute drops. It's these ones: French Guinea, Ivory Coast, Togo and Dahomey. Uh, Dahomey. I mean, Cameroons. We're going to want those for the future. Uh, Gabon, that's correct, Gabon. Okay, for, for French colonial troops. And then the British, I have something over here in Guyana I could, I could bring. Now there's subs out loose <clears throat> pretty soon. He could get come down, he might come down here. This is an excellent place. You see some of these, yeah, Saudi Arabia to USA. This is to the UK, to Dutch Guiana, Brazil. No, Brazil's USA. So British Guiana, Dutch Guiana, what's Venezuela, UK, that's oil. Ooh. Oh, some of these are mine. That's right, these Caribbean countries are French and British. And now they're independent. That's the Virgin Islands, so that's American. There's Antigua. This is interesting. Guadalupe, that's French. Martinique's French. Oh, these could very well turn Vigie. They will. As a matter of fact, I think the Americans had to come down and clean them up because they'll be they could become they could be a problem. Let's see, what's this? Saint Vincent, that's British. Barbados. I knew that was Barbados. Trinidad and Tobago. British. That's obvious. Union Jack. Port of Spain. Trinidad and Tobago, there's oil here. Oil here in Venezuela. Look at all these oil fields here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wow. This is an industrial center for Venezuela. I wonder if he's making a beeline down there. All the subs. I think we're going to have to rendezvous. We'll, uh, rendezvous here at Bermuda. And uh, I think we need at least one ship down here. He could stay there. <laughs> Is there raiding hexes down there? Because if raiding hexes, you don't have to use supply. You can stay submerged. Off of Canada? No. Okay. But here. Yeah, here's our raiding hexes. So he would have to use up supply to raid the convoy lines down there. But even a couple turns, that would hurt. I want to look at something. Let's see how our British... Uh, I know it's a little long, but i uh, got a plan on this. Yeah, it's gone. It's diminished to zero. Okay, and we got, we all, we've got we already collected 411 MPP. Well, I think it's worth protecting. Okay. That's it. Yeah. 
Office of British Foreign Secretary Lord Halifax. The first Lord Admiral Winston Churchill was pressuring for us to occupy two ports in Ireland. Ugh, this one. To provide the Royal Navy with bases in the coming struggle to protect our shipping from U-boat attack. These would be along the south coast of Ireland where until last year we had naval bases according to the Anglo-Irish Treaty signed in 1921. Ireland lacks the military capability to prevent us from reoccupying the treaty ports, but there would be a political reaction against us both here and in the USA if we were to do so. Definitely in Boston. South, South Boston. It's full of a lot of Irish folks. Came from Ireland. However, as well as being of some strategic benefit, a bold and decisive move like this would boost our national morale. Would you like to order the Royal Navy to occupy the ports of Cork and Waterford? Oh, God. I'll tell you what's going to happen. We'll see, Americans are at 18%. This is a difficult one, actually, because they will react. They will react to it angrily. If you say yes, then the ports of Waterford and Cork would switch to our control for the use of our ships. Though they would return to Irish control should Ireland enter the war. Political reaction in Ireland of doing this would move it 10 to 15% towards the Axis. Uh, that's not a problem if I had to take Ireland, but I don't want to do that. That's bad. And the USA will also move between 4 to 6 percent away from the allies. I actually would need to maintain at least 18 percent. On the other hand, this site's action will increase British NAS morale by a thousand points and the use of these ports will certainly be useful later on. Yes, they would. National morale for the British at a thousand points. Yes, that, that's huge. Ugh. There's going to be another one too dealing with the French Communist Party in, uh, in France. Uh, let's look at the map. It's this one and this one. Oh, I, I definitely could use this if things get out of hand. I'm going to lack port space, especially when I lo we lose all the ports in France. And yes, we're going to lose them all. Attacking Ireland's out of the question. As your national morale will go down, at least in Wa, you're not only will British national morale go down, so will the Americans and or the British for sure. Not the Americans, but it'll, if before they're in the war, oh, they will not like it. They won't like it. They actually won't don't like anything that Britain does proactive, proactively. This is a dilemma. The, I need these ports. The national morale would be great. I wish I could look, but you can't. But I want to keep this up. Three, what was it again? Sorry. Four to six. So 14% down to 12%? No. I'm going to go no. British national morale wasn't that low anyway. It would have brought us up above, but um, yeah, anyone that's watching this, you tell me what you would have done. <laughs> Okay, so we got 234 MPP. I got 177, so I can start buying infantry corps if I want, or divisions will come even faster. Uh, we maintain our uh, mo uh, mobilization 8% for the United States. Uh, Soviet Union's got 123. We're just two MPP short of getting the infantry uh, tactics, I guess. So, anyway, well, that's that. This is Okro Belzer. Thanks for watching. See you on the virtual battlefields. I am gone.